Cinematic filters for your Mavic Pro? Let's see if they're worth it. Dave Taylor here, and I gotta say, I really like my DJI Mavic Pro. It's just a fun drone. It's small, portable, has a long battery life, takes great video, and it's easy to fly even in the wind, right? But if you're watching this, you probably already have one, so good on you. Really fun drones. But in some situations, I wonder, am I getting the best possible video footage? So enter the Polar Pro Mavic filter set. That's what these are. These are six different filters. Now, the set I have is what they call the Cinema Series, and that turns out to be comprised of both their Vivid collection and their Shutter collection. So you can get any of these, you know, in pairs of, in sets of three, if you want to buy them differently. Now, each filter is little, and incredibly light. They're 1.3 grams. They're made out of multi-coated glass so that there's no lens flare issues or anything, which you don't want. And they're so light that they don't actually affect gimbal startup. So what I've done is I actually put the filter on. You'll see there, on, done. How easy is that? I put it on before I do anything with the drone. So now I'm ready to fly and to actually have the filter in place. Speaking of which, let's look at some footage and see if you can tell the difference between the different filters. So there you have it. That's an example of three different filters. And I gotta say, personally, I was a little disappointed. I thought I'd see more difference. I thought I'd see more dramatic differences in the different footage, but you know, there might be different scenarios in which those filters would work great. I will say, polarizing is a classic example of a filter that's gonna make a huge difference if you're near a body of water, right? If you're doing that sort of classic drone shot where you're going down the beach and on one side is the ocean, the other side is the sand and people hanging out and stuff, that's a great use of a polarizing filter because that's a situation where you're gonna get so much glare and reflection off the water. So maybe I just wasn't in a good situation to demonstrate the filters, but you can see those are the differences between them. Now, the set ships with an ND4 PL, which reduces the shutter by two f-stops and has a polarizer. It has an ND8 filter, also polarizing, and that's a three-stop reduction. An ND16, which is reducing it by four f-stops and also has the polarizing. And then there's three that don't have polarizing. There's an ND8, three stops, an ND16, four stops, and an ND32, which drops down five f-stops on your camera. So if you're in that sort of situation, and if you're a pro, then this sort of stuff can be really good. Now, for me, I'm not a pro photographer, so I don't know that I would recommend this set. It's probably just beyond what I would actually normally use. But again, if I was in those situations where I might be doing a lot of shooting at dusk or dawn, or I was you know, doing a lot of shooting where there's just crazy reflections everywhere, then these filters could make a world of difference in the kind of footage you get. Now, they're not inexpensive. So this set of six filters will put you back $149.99. But if this is what you need to be able to get the right footage, and if you can differentiate between whether you need polarizing or not, you could also back up to doing like the Vivid collection or the Shutter collection for less. But this is the full set, gives you everything, and it's in a nice handy little case. Easily portable, works beautifully with the Mavic. It's just, you can see they put a lot of effort into getting this to work just so. So 
if you are the right person and if this is the right thing for you to check out, then I encourage you to check it out. So, this is the Polar Pro Cinema Series DJI Mavic Filter Set, $149.99. You can learn more about it and check it out at polarprofilters.com. This is Dave Taylor, and my Mavic and I are off for another adventure, so I'll catch you in my next video.